so annoying. <laughs> What, what haven't I done yet? Um, go backwards. Uh, have I done 3, 2, 1 yet? I don't know. We'll try it though. Apparently. I don't know if I've done it, but it doesn't work. Alright, so we'll start with you again. We'll go... 1, 3. How dare you! One, three, two. Damn. Um. Well, what haven't I tried? All right, this, this is getting annoying. Um. They're screaming all fast and stuff. Um. Have I done two, one, three already? Cause this better be it. Damn it. Come on. There we go. Now we just wait here for her, him, it to dance back. How do you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the, administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma, strike her with your sword while she is stunned. Oh, Queenie, sorry about that. Alright, time for the boss. Alright. That wasn't too bad now, was it? Probably the hardest part of this entire dungeon was figuring out the order of those three. Oh. Alright, so I'm trapped. This thing is definitely not natural. Eyeballs do not do that. Parasitic Armored Arachnid. It, it looks like a hand. I'm pretty sure that's not what Arachnid looks like. Ah, oh, one hit. Alright, alright. Not that tough. Let's look at it on the best time. Given that this is Master Quest. Alrighty then. Must not pick up the piece of heart. Must not pick up the piece of heart. Must resist the temptation. No. Alright. Don't have to shoot the video again. And I fly up into the ceiling, and I somehow am transported outside. Magic. Well done, Wilbrus. I can't remember what voices I keep using for these guys, so everyone's gonna get a new voice every time they say something. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now, I have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? No. No, Woodbris. Thou must know my time is short. I said no! Now, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert casts this dreadful curse upon me. Ah, fine. Background of fire with that evil man from my dreams. He's real. 
course, and nothing's happening. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. And then we now have the most epic scene ever. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Most epic creation video I've ever seen in any video game. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Feyror, the goddess of courage. But Favor is always left for the last, but not really. You, you can get her magic second, but neighbors you have to get third, but Din is always first. Din. With her strong flaming arm, she cultivated the land and created the red earth. Hmm. And yet it's black and white, but it's called red. Nehru, who poured her wisdom into the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Uh, apparently, the spirit of law is the sky and color. Feyror, with her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. Alrighty then. Let's see, Nehru is next. Was not always last. Three goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens. And golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence, and the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. I think I've changed from the voice I was using for the Deku Tree, but that's okay, because it really doesn't sound like the Deku Tree talking through that entire part. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Nope, oh, my back. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Well, that's nice. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. Don't worry, you're a tree. I I'm not gonna feel sorry for a tree. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. Yeah? All you've told me is some history. History is not important. Except in school because they didn't get a grade for it. This is Hyrule's final hope. That, that's exactly what I would have done. As soon as I noticed it was gonna just keep going on and on, I'm gonna take it to see two. Wilbris, go now to Hyrule Castle. There, there will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. He looks pretty sad, doesn't he? His like mustache, his eyebrow and mustache are both like pointing downwards. I'm not entirely sure how the how the tree has eyebrows and a mustache, or even a mouth for that matter, that I can enter into. We got the Curious Emerald. This is a spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the Great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Wilbris. Thou art courageous. Thank you. Navi the fairy, help Wilbur's to carry out my will. She will be no help whatsoever, trust me. I entreat ye, Navi. Good bye. And all of his life force is sucked upwards, resulting in a grey Deku tree. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Wilbris. Goodbye.
great Deku tree. As opposed to the fairies, he's a kind of important guy. And the Kokiri. Alright, gotta speak with this guy again. Hey Wilbur's, what did you do? The great Deku tree, did he die? How the fuck do you know? Did, were you watching? You're not supposed to be watching that, that's not cool. How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. You were obviously watching, so you should also have heard that I was successful in what the Deku tree wanted me to do. You, you, you should get your facts straight before accusing people of things, I don't. And he, he can't stand a, a good, normal conversation, argument, debate. And so he just walks away. Probably the best thing he could do, though, to save as much face as possible. Now what? Uh, Alright, oh Saria said that she would be over here waiting for me. She's not waiting for me. Where is she? Ah. Uh, Graphics glitch. Ah, uh, emulators. Oh, you're leaving? And how did you not notice her when you ran by? I guess you're that focused on meeting Princess Zelda, huh? I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Wilbris. Because you are different from me and my friends. See, even at this point in time, they knew that I, or at least sorry knew that I'm not a Kokiri. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. You received the fairy ocarina. This is a mento from Saria. Set it to C and use C to start playing it. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to left, down, or right, and then use that C to start playing it. You can play different notes with A and the four C buttons. Press B to quit playing or to start your song over again. When you play my ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit. Hmm. Maybe... Uh, no. I, I have relationship issues. Sorry. And, and her face just tells you that she... She knows what, what we just spoke about right now, and she knows that Link has relationship issues. You know that Wilbur's has relationship issues? Hyrule Field. And... The most annoying character in the game, more annoying than Navi, because... For someone who's playing through for the first time, Navi is actually slightly helpful. At least a little bit. But this guy does no. Hoot hoot, Wilbur's look up here.